Please tell me if I'm going blind or not. Because I couldn't see this guy. Like, maybe I saw, like, a slight glimpse of his weapon. But it should not be this dark in these rooms. Right here, I see a guy right there. I can't see him, dude. His character is so dark in that room, I can't see him. Honestly, I'm lost for words in that clip, man. Drop a like on the video if you guys can relate to that. And also, if you guys are tired of being punished for moving here in Modern Warfare, we're going to be talking about the new 1.07 update that's going to be dropping here in the near future. And as always, everybody, make sure you guys comment down below your Activision ID so you guys can play with me when I do live stream over on Twitch. This video is going to be pretty interesting because a lot of changes that you know we've wanted to be made are actually going to be happening. With so all being said, let's jump right into it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Iris. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And the developers over at Infinity Ward have just revealed some of the changes that are going to be going live in the new 1.07 update that we can see happening here in the very near future. Now, if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all updates that do go live here in Modern Warfare, and most importantly, know and understand exactly what changes in each and every update, make sure you guys absolutely smash the like button on the video, subscribe to channel and turn on those post notifications so you guys are staying up to date and notified immediately when i upload a new video specifically videos going over any updates best class setups best settings or any tips and tricks that i have for you guys here in modern warfare as you guys can see here i'm putting a screenshot on the screen right now ashton williams a community manager over at infinity ward actually revealed and kind of teased some of the changes that are going to be happening in the new 1.07 update we can see here that they're going to be making changes across the platforms and revolving around stability so a lot of the crashes that are happening on the xbox one x are hopefully no longer going to be happening once this new 1.07 update does go live. Unfortunately, they said this about the 1.06 update, but I kind of have a little bit of faith that they're gonna actually finally fine tune and iron these out. Remember, if you guys are still experiencing crashes, specifically over on the Xbox One X and also on the regular Xbox platforms, make sure you guys are tweeting Infinity Ward and letting them know that this bug still exists. They're also gonna be making changes and fixing bugs in the game. Currently, right now, once you guys reach max level, level 156, there's some ribbons and challenges that you guys actually cannot complete because they're currently bugged. So this is very annoying for a lot of completionists because obviously if you can't complete a challenge because it's bugged, there's no way of figuring out exactly what happens when you completely max the entire game out. There's also some camo challenges right now that are glitched in Modern Warfare that are preventing people from unlocking the Damascus camo. So hopefully these are all the uh, fine-tuned and ironed out once this new 1.07 update does drop. We're also going to be seeing some weapon tuning changes. Now, my guess they're going to be nerfing the 725 here in this new update. I'm actually be putting a tweet right now. Again, she actually teased that they're going to be nerfing the 725 if testing goes well. Now, I think we all know the 725 shotgun is incredibly overpowered here in Modern Warfare and honestly, one of the most annoying and toxic weapons in the entire game. So hopefully within this update, they do finally go ahead and fine tune it. I guarantee they're going to nerf the range and probably adjust the reload speed so it's not that good at close range and if you guys do miss your two shots you're going to be punished because you're not going to be able to reload the weapon nearly as fast even with the sleight of hand weapon per equipped i also think they're going to be going ahead and making adjustments to the m4 nerfing it maybe going ahead and increasing its recoil also going ahead and increasing its reload time also going ahead and increasing its ads speed and out times something to kind of keep it in line with all the other rifles and i also also can definitely see them going ahead and buffing some weapons like the ak-47 the scar but let me know down in the comment section what other weapons you guys want to see buffed as well as nerfed here in modern warfare we're also going to be seeing some changes within the footsteps claymores and more now footsteps we all know are incredibly loud here in modern warfare i think they honestly should go ahead and kind of rework the dead silence perk maybe going ahead and making that a tier uh perk 2 slot so you can kind of have an adjustment within ghost because ghost is also a very strong perk here in modern warfare so definitely having a perk like dead silence to kind of offset the amount of ghost users would definitely be a nice balancing adjustment in this game and i think a lot of us would like that because it's very hard to rush it's very hard to move around here in modern warfare when your footsteps are so loud that you can literally be heard across the map we're also going to be seeing some changes within claymores now claymores 
are incredibly strong here in Modern Warfare. You get killed so far away by Claymore, so hopefully they've been making adjustments within the EOD perk as well, making that more of a viable option. Also reducing the damage on the Claymores, kind of having an offset delay, so if you guys try to trigger it and run away, it's not going to instantly kill you like it does now. Definitely the Claymores need a nerf in Modern Warfare, and I think that everybody can agree with that. And they're also going to be adjusting a little bit more, but we don't really have that much information on exactly all of the changes. We all know the big major changes here in Modern Warfare that need to be done. Also, what we could definitely be seeing in this update is maybe an adjustment in the minimap. I know they're going to go ahead and revert the minimap back to the traditional minimap, which shows red dots when enemies are firing, but this probably will not happen in the 1.07 update. This is probably going to be happening in the overhaul update, which is kind of, which this is kind of a precursor to that update and kind of teasing and kind of seeing how the community takes these kind of small yet major changes that's going to be happening here in Modern Warfare. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I want to make this just so you guys know exactly what's going to be happening and kind of in rough ETA, ETA on exactly when this update's going to be going live. Within the next couple of days, it's set to go live. I think it's going to be going live by next tuesday it could go live a little bit earlier it could go live a little bit later but i understand that the devs know that these updates need to happen now not tomorrow not today but now so i definitely feel that they're going to be going ahead and doing you know this very very quickly hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make you guys absolutely like i said drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you guys are staying up to date with all of my new videos specifically videos going over any updates that do go live here in modern warfare with all that being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces if you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.15 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming Modern Warfare. Now, if you want to have a chance at being featured in a YouTube video on my channel, make sure you guys click my Twitch link. It's going to be down in the description below and drop me a follow. You can also also go ahead and search up my Twitch page in the Google search bar twitch.tv slash earsxbl or go right to the Twitch website and type in earsxbl or ears. You will be directed right to my channel. We are closing in on 8,000 followers, so all your support is greatly appreciated. Now, as always, guys, make sure you guys comment down below your PSN, your Xbox Live Gamer tags, or your Activision ID so I could run Modern Warfare with as many of my viewers from YouTube, many of viewers from Twitch, any subscribers from YouTube, any subscribers on Twitch. I'm always trying to play with as many of you guys as possible because I absolutely love featuring subscribers on my YouTube channel. I know you guys like that as well. Also, if you guys have Amazon Prime and want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be also greatly appreciated. And if you guys do, make sure you guys go ahead and tweet me a picture. My Twitter is also going to be linked down in the description below. And I will go ahead and follow you guys and also give you a personalized thank you. As always, make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. And yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.